Friday's snow reminded UP residents that spring is a relative term and season. Back in 1996, the UP spring sports season started slowly. TV6's Matt Wright recalls what happened in mid-April. It seems like no matter where you look in the Upper Peninsula, all you can see is snow, snow, and more snow. That may be great for winter sports, but this is the middle of April. And for spring sports like tennis, golf, and track and field, they're having a tough time getting started this spring. Well, it's off to a slow start. We're trying to do the best we can, but with the weather conditions like they've been, it's been really hard. We've done a lot of inside running and as much outside as we can, but it's been really difficult. With all the snow we've had this year, I figured the best way to keep up my swing was to come in here and hit a couple balls around just to practice up a little bit. Since we won't be getting out there until June or so, it looks like. Living in such a cold and unpredictable climate like the Upper Peninsula, maybe schools should change their spring sports to activities that go on no matter what the weather's like. How about volleyball or billiards, bowling, or even racquetball? Let's get out snowshoes instead of running shoes and do some snowshoe races and that kind of thing. What's the big deal? A little cold weather, a little snow? You could still get out here and play. By the way, anyone see the white Titleist? I knew I should have used colored balls. Matt Wright, TV6 Sports.